All right, what is going on everyone? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today we're here with another video. This should be a decently short video compared to the most of the videos I upload. But what we're gonna be doing today is I recently uploaded a crafting kind of just statistics video that I like to do, stuff like that. And I got a comment that was uh, suggesting that I compare the super glass make with molten glass to the spin flax spell. So pretty much before we get into this, let's just kind of give you guys a little overview. If you go over here, as you guys can see at the very bottom, I don't know why it's at the bottom, but at level 76 with uh, Lunar Diplomacy done, you can cast a Spin Flag spell. It's a spell that gives you Magic XP and I believe Crafting XP too. And uh, then up here you also have Super Glass Make, which gives you Magic and Crafting XP. Main differences being that, I mean, this one's going to give you more XP, but this is going to make you more money. So what happens with Super Glass Make, I'll show you guys here in a second. I'll show you guys how both of the spells work, I guess, like in action. All right, so real quick, gonna go through and show you guys what the what an average inventory looks like. So you just go down here and you cast Spin Flex, and as you guys can see up there, you get 75 Mage XP, 75 Crafting, and then you just spam click this. You'll be able to do it five times as each spell actually spins five flax into five bowstrings and as you guys can see here once i cast the last one we have an entire inventory so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how much money you make slash lose on each inventory all right so here we go going to go ahead throw 25 flax into the price checker on top of that you're going to have to use two um nature runes for each spell you're actually going to do so 10 nature runes and then five astros will be the total price of making these all into bowstrings so as you can see 3.4k i'm going to go ahead and spin them and with that inventory i gained 375 crafting and magic xp and as you guys can see i was able to make about i guess depending on what price you go off of between 200 and 400 gp so not too bad but molten glass is definitely a lot better so going to go ahead and test this now all right, just finished up the testing on the spin flag spell. So going to go ahead and show you guys how you're going to want to go about doing the super glass make spell. So as you guys can see, we're going to need our an equal amount buckets and equal amount seaweed. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and withdraw 13, have that as your preset, and then have it in a way in which you can get 13 here. And as soon as you click that, you should be hovering over the seaweed. Then 13 there, and then escape to leave your bank. That's the fastest way of going about it. And how fast you bank really does matter. Matter. As you guys can see with Super Glass Make, I get 76 magic or 78 magic XP and 130 crafting, but the whole inventory is gone. Um, I believe it's a random amount of molten glass from what I've been seeing, so this isn't always the case that you're going to get like 13 or 15 in this case. So as you guys can see, it'll be a little random, but that's all you're going to want to do. So just go rebank and then do this, and you should be good to go. I'm going to show you guys what you make off of an average inventory. So going to go ahead and do that now. As you guys can see right there, it's going to cause I think it's two astral runes so 1900 on the dot make sure it's two astral runes where yes it is indeed so 1900 was what it cost me to actually buy that inventory essentially and this one we have more than the last one but as you guys can see I just made 800 to 8 to 900 GP off that inventory alone so that's just kind of the idea of this it's a lot more banking a lot more click intensive but you do actually make profit off of it Alright, so now that you guys have the general idea as far as how super glass and flax spinning works, I'm going to go ahead and just go through what I was able to find through my testing and uh, kind of share it with you guys. So, as you guys can see here, there's obviously a huge difference in cast per hour as super glass you have to bank and retake out everything every time. I just want to preface this by saying I was banking really fast, like... Just, I, I don't know. I, I was doing really well, and I mean, if you have AHK or, I guess, mouse keys, you, you can do this faster. But, I mean, I was going pretty fast and probably faster than the average person is now without AHK, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so, as I was saying, obviously I have a lot of cast per hour with Super Glass, so just keep that in mind. Um, what I was able to find is you get about 1.3 Molten Glass back for every pair of seaweed and buckets of sand that you end up actually using in a spell. So in total, on average per hour, I was getting 9.7 thousand Molten Glass back. Um, with Flax, I was getting 5.1 thousand as you get 5 back for each cast. Um, the average GP made off of each cast was 800 for Super Glass, which is really good, and 60 for Flax Spinning, which isn't as good, but Flax Spinning still really just chill, and you also get a lot more magic XP, as you guys can see down below. From there, uh, comparing crafting, it's relatively the same. I mean, with crafting, with Super Glass, you get 74k crafting an hour, which is really good, 
Um, for flax spinning, you also get 77.6k crafting XP an hour. I don't know what this, what, what's going on here. <laughs> like, whenever I tested this last time with Super Glass, I wasn't getting this fast of XP per hour. But I think the more that you work on it, the faster you'll be. However, it's something that's very click intensive, so it'll probably dip down if you do this for hours on end. Um, as you can see, though, with magic, magic XP, this is kind of where it changes a little bit. As far as super glass, you only get 44.4k magic per hour, but with magic, and you know, with magic with flex spinning, you actually get 77.6k, which is where the real difference in this lies. Okay, so now if you look at the bottom, uh, 424k profit with super glass compared to 60 with flex spinning. Uh, if you're solely comparing crafting XP, it makes it obvious that the choice here would be super glass. However, it may not be as obvious if you are also considering magic, because realistically with super glass, if you're trying to get like 94 mage, you'll probably get 99 crafting at the same time, which would be a really good way to go about it, but it's just, I mean, to get another 33k XP an hour with magic and flax spinning, so much more beneficial. So this kind of comes down to a judgmental call, which is why I don't really have a cost comparison here. If we were comparing solely crafting XP, it would take you about 25 hours to actually save an hour if you were to do flax spinning, which means in those 25 hours, you'd be losing about 400k an hour, which means that if you can make like 10 mil or above, then this would be worth it to you if you're solely comparing crafting XP, and that's not realistic for anyone. So as far as the magic XP goes though, that's really up to you. I don't know how much you value it and you guys can take it as is, but that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped you out a little bit trying to decide which way you want to go about getting your magic and crafting up. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you guys have any way that I can improve in the future, make sure to leave a comment down below. I went ahead and made like an actual layout for this as I felt it would be more appropriate than just like a two, just a two columned or two road excel sheets so i hope you guys enjoyed that but with that being said hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace